I will now demonstrate in just a few steps how to configure and launch an S7-1200 RTU with the CP1243-1 of the Telecontrol Basic System. The remote RTU will then be capable of transmitting its signals, alarms and measured values to the control center. In addition, the control center can issue commands to the station. The configuration is divided into three parts. First part, configuration of the S7-1200 RTU in the TIA portal. Second part, configuration of the Telecontrol Server Basic OPC server. Third part, configuration of the WinCC Advanced Runtime application. Our demo configuration consists of a SIMATIC S7-1200 with WAN CP1243-1. The CP is coupled to the telecontrol server BASIC via a LAN or Internet connection. The telecontrol server BASIC can then transmit the data via OPC communication to an HMI system such as WinCC Advance for visualization. Our station has already been created. It consists of an S7-1200 and a CP1243-1. We first activate the operating mode telecontrol to make it possible for the CP to establish a connection to the telecontrol server BASIC. Because the CP creates an encrypted connection to the telecontrol server BASIC, we require the safety functions of the CP. For this purpose, we first specify login ID and a password. Then we activate the safety functions by clicking on the checkbox. Afterwards, we assign the project and station number with which the CP can log on to the telecontrol server BASIC. In our case, it is project number 1, station number 10. For the encrypted VPN connection, we also require a password for authentication. Then we assign the IP address on which our telecontrol server BASIC is available. For the additional connection parameters, such as monitoring times, we generally use the default parameters of the TIA portal. Subsequently, we connect our CP with a subnet. And the CP is then already enabled to establish a connection to the telecontrol server BASIC. However, no process data is being transferred yet. In order for our station to transfer process data to the control center, we switch to the so-called data point editor. There, the data points or process values to be transferred are simply linked with the PLC variables. In order to import and transfer the digital input as a message to the control center, we specify a data point of the type digital input. We link this point directly with the input 0.0, .0 of the CPU. Then we specify the transfer conditions to enable change evaluation and event-driven transmission of the value. Current value triggered, threshold value active. To transfer the analog value, we create a data point of the type analog input. We link it to a variable with an analog value. As you can see, the TIA portal is already trying to select the proper data point type for you. We then specify the transfer conditions to also enable event-driven transmission of this analog value. Current value triggered, threshold value active. Because our simulated measured value is operating in the range between 0 and 1000, we select a threshold value of 10. This corresponds to 1% of the measuring range. When needed, the data point can also be configured so that it is buffered, in case the connection is lost. For this purpose, we select the setting Every Value Triggered. In order to receive a command from the Telecontrol Server BASIC, we create a data point of the type Digital Output. We then link this point directly to the digital output of the CPU. This enables the command to be output directly to the digital output of the CPU. Now our SIMATIC S7-1200 station is completely configured and can be loaded.
For the configuration of the Telecontrol Server BASIC, we now switch to the so-called Configuration and Monitoring Tool, or CMT for short. In the CMT, we create an S7-1200 station with CP1243-1. As with our TIA portal configuration, this is station number 10 and project number 1. In order for the station to establish an authenticated connection with the Telecontrol Server BASIC, we enter the password already specified in the TIA portal. Similar to the TIA portal, we adopt the default parameters for the link monitoring also in the Telecontrol Server BASIC. The configuration of station 10 is now complete and we save and activate the station. This completes the configuration in the CMT and the station can now establish the connection to the Telecontrol Server BASIC. Once this has been done, the station is marked as being available. In order to display the process values from the station or issue a command from the control center to the station, we still have to configure the visualization software. In our case, this is WinCC Advanced. Of course, any other OPC client can be used as well. We create an OPC connection to the Telecontrol Server Basic OPC server. Afterwards, we can create the WinCC HMI tags and simply link them per item browsing with the OPC items from Station 10. If the Telecontrol BASIC station has already been linked once to the Telecontrol Server BASIC, all the OPC items there can be easily viewed and linked per item browsing. Subsequently, the HMI tags are linked to the image elements. We link the variable with the digital input 0.0, .0 from the station to our image object. We use the same procedure for the display of the analog value. In order to send a command to the station, we link the command button to the item for the digital output 0.0. Now the parameters of the WinCC system have also been configured and it can be launched. If we now create a message by activating the switch 0.0, .0 the status change will be transferred immediately to WinCC and displayed on the image object. The analog value is also transferred, event-driven and displayed on the WinCC image object. Now we send a command from the control center to the station and it is immediately relayed to the digital output. As you can see, we've configured the basic functions of a Telecontrol BASIC station along with the Telecontrol Server BASIC and put them into operation. By configuring the data points in the S7-1200 RTU, the relevant items are automatically created on the Telecontrol Server BASIC OPC server once the connection is established. They now only need to be linked to the images of the HMI system. It is just as easy to establish a connection to the Telecontrol Server BASIC via a mobile communications network. To do so, use one of our wireless CPs via 2G or 4G network. The configuration steps involved are virtually identical.